Hello, ladies, gents, and well-endowed fart sniffers. We return to the slowest exodus ever conceived by man. I really didn't think that I would find any components anywhere, but look at that. Managed to find a vein straight where I told them to dig. Feel pretty good about that because men are the components in short supply. It pisses me off! I like how we're probably going to leave without using these mortars even once. There was a comment like, I bet he won't use the mortars again. You were indeed correct. Maybe we can correct that by s when we summon the mech band antenna and the disgusting queen uh, mech bee thingy that comes. And that's probably going to happen like right now. Because we need that to happen soon. And we'll get that research done. So I think I am pretty much psychologically ready to make this exodus happen. And what materially ready, I want this package survival meal. Being researched, we'll make a ton of package survival meals. We will research the high mech tech with the new chip. Actually, we'll need the multi analyzer for that then probably we won't do that. <laughs> we probably will just study the chip, unlock the technology, and carry on with our life. Maybe uh, use the chip for something, but no, we'll, we'll just probably carry it with us because that requires a ton of work. But we definitely need those packaged survival meals because these food, this food is just not going to uh, last until it is time to arrive at the place. Let's load the world so I can show you where I want to emigrate to, which was here. I want to go straight to this mountain right here. And, and the one with the river, I am very curious to see what a mountain with the river looks like. So that's the tile that I feel is going to be the most fun. We are also kind of close to some caravanning to uh, trade and that kind of stuff. So very much looking forward to our new home. Is everybody well slept? Because I want to summon this disgusting mechanoid. Wake up, banana. Everybody needs to go eat their meal. It's early in the morning. It's freaking 3 a.m. in the morning. People just get up so early. Because they get rested so quickly is the thing. Evan Damas, go uh, get yourself a meal. Crack like back, babe. You can sleep a little bit longer. And then we'll summon... I guess Meg needs a little bit more sleep. That beauty sleep needs to happen. And uh, as soon as everybody has a meal in their bellies and is well rested we're gonna summon that mech is this ready to do the thing no it's not really would like to have this tunneler did we get the scyther though we don't have a scyther i thought i could have sworn that i started a scyther but i i probably started the tunneler first apparently i am ready to give these actually take their <laughs> legs away i am down with that well done blargo manhunter pack that's right i completely forgot god damn it I was in the middle. Shit. <laughs> I mean, it's okay because uh, we're all well rested and all that stuff. But I want it to be like fully ready. Thank goodness I didn't summon the damn mechanoid queen. I wanted to be able to pull everybody back and be sure that everybody was ready to defend this. Now I'm going to have to be scrambling a little bit. Uh, not you, fathead nerd. Everybody, get inside. It's a this. It's not an, a hard thing to deal with. Just ten panther, pantheras, ten panthers. But uh, it's mm, something that can definitely wreck you if you don't deal with it properly. So let's be sure that all the mechs are inside in mech safety, and have everybody gather around on the outside. I will probably just use this door. Uh, as the threshold. Why are you guys attacking? What is this going on? Why are you uh, struggling to pass those rocks? Tuskmaster. Everybody. The Tuskmaster needs to go inside. I don't know if they'll attack the tamed animals, but I'm not going to risk it. And Stumpmaster needs to go inside. I didn't realize that we had two masters. Well, one of the Master of Stumps, the other one's the Master of Tusks. Is uh, there's no conflict of interest there. And Nephin Damas, please go inside. I don't want my poor, beautiful animals to get eaten by pan panthers. I guess we'll just... 
Mm. We can also just fight here, but I think that would be a pretty bad idea. I think the Panthers will not do much at all if we simply move in right there. We're going to hold this open, get the melee peoples ready to go. They're all nearing and close. The geezer, you can just stand there. Blargo, get everybody. Get yourself a good position. Tiros is like uh, the most important shoot shooter. How close are they? I really hate that they're going up there, but it should be all right. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's move every animal to make, make safety. Because I really don't appreciate that. There's the one that needs to go in the front. Hike is going to take all the panther bites. Okay, everybody's moving inside. Uh, except Grave Digger for some reason. Didn't get the freaking memo. But there's a giant pile of panthers nearing. Why, where is this panther even going? Is, is it stupid? Pretty sure it's stupid. They're really not attacking me. Huh? The door is literally open. You absolute buffoons. All right, banana, go out there, get some shots, and obliterate the opposition. Do not release the animals, though. There you go, there you go. Go back, go back, go back. These are the dumbest pan panthers I have ever experienced in my life. What is going on here? Why are they not attacking me? That weirds me out. Fine, fine. We'll go out there and meet them in their own terms. We'll get three shooters, put them right there, get a few shots off. Are they coming yet? Either way, I'm coming for you, you stupid idiots. Dumbass panthers. Thought that they could come in here. Okay, well, uh, I guess I have given the panthers too much respect. They were not simply not that deadly, but also really, really stupid. Uh, you would think that they would be able to follow the scent all the way to this area where the humans are congregating, but no. They're too idiotic to even understand that, hey, the humans are here. You, you can totally sink your teeth upon their throats if only you tried. What a disappointment, you pile of wild idiots. I mean, they are mad, so probably that's a, a reason why they didn't behave like they should have. I am also upset that they basically triggered every one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> that is so annoying. Super upsetting. Make sure that everything's in the auto rearm. Oh well, that's a, that's the thing that just happened, I suppose. You can, we can eat a few of these panthers that did not uh, get disgustingly tainted. Everybody it should be back to unrestricted. And Max back to unrestricted so we don't get any animal filth. And there was one person beat. Why are you missing a finger, Brexel? Why do you get bitten in the extreme, Brexel? There was literally no fighting, Brexel. What are you doing? And why are you researching instead of, like, let me just mix this beaker with this pile of ash and see if I get an interesting reaction. Meanwhile, he's bleeding all over the damn experiment. Are you mentally retarded is that what's going on are you perhaps just not just staggeringly ugly but also staggeringly stupid i don't think not because you are actually our intellectual buffoon and you should be able to figure out that there was a much easier way to do things other than you know getting your hand nearly chopped off hey we got a new kidney i i wish blargo weren't doing this pots arrived Oh, that's right. <laughs> we did this for the Empire because those buffoons are in the process of forgiving us for the atrocious war crime that we committed against their entire civilization. All right, bud. It's time to call down the War Queen. Five pikemen, two scythers. Confirm. Uh, if I were to guess, here's where I'm going to use one of my shields. The War Queen is not thing to mess with, and it's also pretty damn annoying. It is probably the most annoying mech 
fight because it, it just spawns sort of the dumb little uh, mechanoids you had to kind of instantly go meet the the queen to wherever she's at because otherwise she's just going to send its minions at you all the time so i want to use these mortars it will be great to use these mortars but against the war queen i think i am much better off just instantly going to uh you know don't going to meet them in battle instead of trying to pelt uh, pelt them with bombs uh, it makes no real sense to go and pelt them with bombs. Why are you doing what, Cancel that dig. What, do you think it's going to be components in this little nugget of slate? How foolish. All right. It's looking pretty good. Let's move time forward. Eric Dawson, are you the one that should be making bed rolls? I mean, they're just good. They're just good bed rolls. Are you even good at uh, building? You're ass garbage at building. Oh, so I'm so thankful that Eric Dawson got it done. Eric Dawson... <laughs> he should have been Blargo building that, but he's too busy chopping people up. You know, his favorite pastime. He he loves to do it. I don't really blame him. So, it's all right. Ragman is very good at construction. And he did get all these uh, bedrolls done. Very nice. Crack like back with break soul. Breaking the incredible technology of dehydration for food. Going to give me some excellent pack survival meals. And here's the War Queen. Everybody gets drafted right away. Where are you, War Queen? Are you dropping from uh, the sky? Is that what you're doing? Oh, everybody got around and we'll see where it comes from. Yeah. Aha. We're going out. We're going out immediately. We care not about being subtle about this one we're just going to go out into the field obviously you know not not one by one <laughs> we just put them all together hopefully with the elephants as well we'll send the elephants in front and the people with the shields in front and then we'll trigger the portable shield pack and that's what we're going to use to be able to vanquish this threat oh that reminds me who's back not really anybody, huh? But we can use Fat Hair Nerd as our EMP grenade thrower. Get it, get it, Fat Hair Nerd, and then we can come back out here. All right, so this is not a trivial fight. This is not something that I'm going to take lightly. By the way, let me just unforbid all this garbage. These damn animals clear them from my sight. And we can come out here. Let's see, people with the shields. Let's put them on the front. Fat Hair Nerd also has a shield, but he really shouldn't have. Shouldn't have it. Let me take it off. There you go. Crack like back me. Get to the front. Okay, are we close enough? No. Good. Let me just put them a little bit closer. And which one of you fellas has the the shield? T Rose. You also need to be kind of in the front. And we're, before this happens, let's do the um, combat command. This is a serious battle. We could even use the psychic insanity lens. I think I would rather use the psychic insanity lens. Who is equipped with it? Uh, uh, what was it? Brixel? They, they do have a work against Max. I'm getting closer. Okay, everybody. Just get a little closer. But not too close. What, what is the range on these? Holy crap, they can already reach there, huh? Alright, let's just get closer. They're coming at me. They will miss a few shots. Okay, break soul. Like, this works, okay? The question is, does it work against the War Queen? That is a, a great question. And I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> well done, you idiots! Okay, get closer. t -Rose, get ready to activate. How far do we need to be to start shooting? I think we can create, put these fellas at the front. Oh, baby. 
one impact has happened. Um, let's create a nice firing line. I think it's a good spot. Uh, we're a little too far back. We really need to provoke the War Queen into coming closer. Let's get closer. We gotta do it. Break soul. Are you close enough? Come on, come on. It doesn't work. Okay, that's great to know. Let's use it on this Scyther. T Rose, deploy the shield. Everybody, get information. I'm a little concerned about reaching the War Queen. But once all the stragglers or the people around it. Let her nerd get to the corner. Do not fire at will. You will shoot those EMP grenades where I tell you, and only where I tell you. Uh, Ragman. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Let's get some blindness on these filthy. Freaking shooters. Although it doesn't really matter because now we are protected by the shield. I'll be honest. I don't think we needed the shield. I, I may have uh, been over, a little bit protective of my fellows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kill this Scyther. t -Rose is inside the shield still. What? Oh, he's a wimp. Okay, I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> it's just a wimp. You can rely on Fathead Nerd to just get down like a total pussy-ass bitch. Uh, don't shoot you absolute morons. Don't shoot the one enemy that is working for our cause. You absolute buffoons. I'm not going to release just yet the elephants. Mm, how about hike? Equips the MP grenades. Actually, no. Yeah, she can do it. She can do it. And now, do not fire at will. Let's throw it right here. Oh yeah, all these damn pikemen are going down. Oh man, this one so that's so freaking far. Hike. I have every faith in you that you can go out there and not get gunned down. Ah, that's kind of dumb. Let me just use the shield for as long as I can. It's just absolutely idiotic not to just use the shield for as long as possible. A group of travelers have uh, arrived. Not the greatest time to be uh, doing some visitations, but it's all right. We'll give you a great circus-like entertainment. These damn little mechs that are annoying as hell. Oh. In the middle of battle, Tyros is like, you know what, the geezer? You are an absolute idiot, and you need to abandon your beliefs. The geezer is like, you, you dumb old bitch. I can't believe that you're trying to convince me at this time. I have believed for the longest time in the Legion of Ray's beliefs, and there is no way you can get me to not be a supremacist piece of trash. And that is why, now in the middle of battle, t -Rose has decided to stop using the problem solver and be a problem creator. Thanks. Thanks a lot, <laughs> t -Rose. Not the greatest. You fool. All right, this will be expiring six seconds. Get a knife. Oh, oh yeah, they're just getting themselves punched like idiots. Let me uh, jump out. Off goes hike. I think it's time. Everything is stunned. Melee fellas can go against the... Go up... To the War Queen. Nobody's shooting at the things. It's uh, pissing me off. Right, it's time to release the animals too. Animals attack right now. Because the shield has expired. Well, did the grenade land where it shouldn't have? It may have. Let me just throw a grenade right there. Oh shit. <laughs> Ike is getting shot at. Don't get too close to the grenade though. Alright, great stuff, great stuff. T 
Tiros and the Giza are no longer social fighting. Uh, let me get these guys a little further back. Throw that grenade right there. And we need a line of shooters like so. We need an execution line. Come on. Oh, that was not close enough. Get me like that. I didn't realize that the War Queen would follow them. They've... What? Oh, they just spawned the creatures. <laughs> like, what just happened? It's just spawning more trash. The geezer was the, the rightful loser of this duel. For some reason, he's on freaking good medication. Blargo is on freaking glitter world medication. Is that why the storage has no glitter world medication? Because Blargo healed his couple scrapes and bruises with the best medicine available and now man he sure feels good after putting that amazing super med kit all right we have a nice firing line uh hike it's time to go back for your go back for your uh, thing we're, we're pretty good ragman how hard does this thing hit not that hard, is it? Not that hard. You're going to be alright. Quit that uranium mace. You shoot down the stupid war queen. Maybe not kill my elephants in the process. There you go. Just, oh, they just That's the problem with the elephants. They basically provide giant piles of cover. It makes it so, uh, so that they get shot in the butt. So often. Come on, just bring down the War Queen. It just takes so much damage. All right, everybody. Back to normal. You can maybe rescue these poor bastards. Do you actually get shot and killed? And uh, you're bleeding? Yeah, you're bleeding pretty hard, but it's all good. Okay. Allow the spoils of battle. I think the shield was warranted after that fight is done. I really don't want to fight any more War Queens ever again. They are so infuriating to bring down because of the piles of mechs that they bring out. I mean, they're pretty easily stunnable, right? It's not that big a deal to deal with them, but I'll let you hold that. It's just annoying. Lego my Mego. Are you doing okay? You're just... Just hold that chip. You are simply a little bruised. Not a big deal. What is going on here? Oh, the mother-in-law is carrying the fat-haired nerd. Let me unforbid that good shield. Somebody else can equip that. That was very fruitful. I liked it. Let's make sure that we get that piece of technology studied. Look at all this blood all over the place. Blargo, you better get on... Better get on the healing of the these poor bastards. Why is there a lung right in the middle of everything? You don't need to sleep. You need to tend to the to the elephants. These these poor elephants are the heroes, the MVPs of this entire playthrough. They are such great soakers of damage. Probably would have we would have lost two or three colonists be if we didn't have these elephants. I feel like I think I already expanded on this. The wealth. Of the elephants doesn't match their use of the how useful they are they really don't drive your wealth that much and they are the best wall that you can possibly think of crack like back me why are you hurt why do I, how do i shot web okay people are doing all right they haven't been treated but the big wounds were treated so they should be all right Let's just let some time going forward. Everybody can... Uh, starvation on the geezer. This hospital is looking like a medieval hospital. It's just an absolute disaster. I, I was in the middle of researching gas operations, so might as well get that done. Where is Blargo? There he is. He is still sleeping, though. As soon as it's done, I want you to study the power focus chip. Somebody will feed him, right? He'll be fine. Maybe not. The mechs are... Yeah, they are unrestricted. I really need all this trap. All this trash cleaned up. It is a complete disaster.
are these guys fully yeah very nice they are fully emptied of their spare their spare organs they were just too heavy you know they they were like oh man walking around with all these organs is making me feel so clumsy they are thankful that we have relieved them of such a terrible burden look at all this blood <laughs> this is a, all right we're going to destroy these filthy mechs heal up all these poor elephants why are they not being treated even damas I think it's time, like, just let the agri hands do their thing. You don't need to work as much as you do on the plants, okay? And for now, let me bring down the planting. You can go and do some tending. You are my secondary doctor, and it's just not working. It's just not working. Ooh! Health. Everybody should be on freaking herbal. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> but, uh, there really should be a bit of interface that allows you to to assign to everybody herbal medicine, and instead of having to click through every one of them, I'm sure that, you know there's plenty of mods that do it. But I am always like I like vanilla Rimworld without mods. The thing with in starting to install quality of life mods for Rimworld you never stop at one and it's like i don't want to create a giant list of mods that i'm always have to babysit it's just annoying it's just really annoying to me so i'm just going to play mostly vanilla with the one exception that i will never not have which is being able to zoom out so much you know having that nice camera mod so to travel around i think we probably want something like i don't know would you say 80 travel as uh, package survival meals are a reasonable amount of meals to travel? I think so. And of course we want them. Let's clear everything. We want them exclusively of human meat. Um, mushroom. There you go. And we're actually going to... We're not going to prioritize them. They need to be just be cooked when the other stuff is available. And anybody can do it as long as you cook them. It's all good. Tiros will get around to it. She is uh, quite the ace at it. And something that I must do, make sure that the food restrictions, uh, they are all on lavish. Let's see, packaged survival meal. They cannot eat now, packaged survival meal. And we will enable it only once the regular meals have uh, expired. The thing is, you can't actually change eating restrictions when they are in a caravan it is a weird limitation of the interface so i think i need to enable it before we leave okay so now that's done i believe this has been studied let's double check it has not been studied bargo why are you even doing you haven't even gotten up you lazy piece of garbage let me get you to study the power focus chip go and do it there you go now that's unlocked but we're not going to do it because we need the multi-analyzer and we need, you know, we need uh, some, some serious work being done to be able to use it. So before we leave, I don't think there's anything else that I want to build before the leaving time. Fortunately, we use the shield. We just have to carry it with us. We're going to carry so much money in our pockets in this caravan. But is there anything else that needs to be done? And I think the answer is no. So once, once the, let me research the auto doors. Huh? That will be next. Uh, once the package survival meals, uh, meals are properly cooked, Stero's really our only one, <laughs> our only cook. Is she the only one that's stuck in there doing the cooking? Erica Dawson is also kind of into it. And let's make her into our secondary cook. Cast operation has been done. Let me make her into... There you go. If there's no hunting to be done, you can go into the kitchen and get things done. And in fact, we can habilitate both kitchens. Let me destroy that and copy that there. Actually, what we're going to do, instead of having both kitchens doing that, 
we're going to only have the survival meals right there and that way they are both being used i can't believe we never gave t rose even a chair to sit on <laughs> it's, it's just a criminal let me just be, even though we are you know gearing up for leaving it's just wrong for this poor lady not to be able to sit i don't have enough light leather what kind of thing will we have uh cloths <laughs> Let's see, we do have plain leather, we do have panthera, panthera for fur, so furniture, there you go, a nice panther fur, beautiful seat for you to be able to be able to uh, cook in comfort. All right, feeling pretty great. Let's wait also until, of course, this mech is gestated. Before we leave. Oh, that's right. The research. Let's get our b -b 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 auto doors. Because when you're underground, it's nice. I mean, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but it's just nice to have the auto doors. There's Blargo building. T Rose's seat. So she can cook in comfort. A reversal of demand and ammo filth. Looking pretty good. And uh, there is no chance we're going to leave before the next raid. We're just going to have to chill out a little bit. Uh, by the way, that reminds me somehow that there is a conversion going on. Who is next? Let's see. We have... Wow, really? Just the geezer, huh? The geezer is the next one, and that's it. All right. I have established that I like doing the conversion ritual because you can high roll. And I like it. And you also get the mood buff, but that's still on cooldown. Where's the geezer? We're going to convert you to our new religion. Where are you? Where was, where was Hike? There you are. Uh, convert to the geezer. You better not start another, another social fight, you absolute buffoon. You are very much... Convinc convinced that Legion of Ray is the way to go, but I have my doubts. The geezer, though, you're supposed to be wearing a shotgun. Or rather, wielding a shotgun. Yes, this is the shotgun. Equip it, moron. And then let go of your shield. <laughs> this frail geezer just slowly hobbling all the way out to the field. Look! Maybe you shouldn't have balked at T Rose's insistence. Ooh, what's this? Ambabe's stash of fortune. Ambabe, High Chief of the Amze Union, has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth a thousand. Reprocess her stomach. You know something I take big offense about? Something that's been bothering me a lot? Zero bionic eyes being offered anywhere? I thought for sure Blargo by now would have his bionic eye replaced. I thought for sure the hike would have a, an eye replacement, but those eyeballs are so hard to get. Ambrosia Sprout. Wow. Call that convenient. The problem is, will the, will the idiotic pieces of trash that are the boomalopes ruin this? And eat them? I wonder. Uh, do not sow, you idiot. And then let's shrink that zone. Like so. There you go, because I'm an anal moron. Autism overload. There you go. Nice. Peaceful, beautiful tune. Absolutely love it. What do you mean you're idle, Effendamus? I told you to do more more doctoring but that doesn't mean you're supposed to slack now and planting freaking plants you disappoint me much like you did your parents i'm very upset at your performance right now <sighs> is it time to just eat these guys pretty sure it's time to eat these guys uh, it's, there's nothing really to be done other than maybe shed their flesh in a ritual oh that's right they can't walk right if they cannot walk they cannot be sacrificed. Let's give them <laughs> once more. Give them legs so they can walk to their own gallows. They can walk the plank, if you if you will. 
<laughs> actually, they, all they need is one to be able to just hop there. There you go. So we're going to give each one of them a peg leg so they can walk themselves to their own execution. It's going to be hilarious. She'll use it as a weapon indeed, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Just uh, get rid of that. The geezer. And, and for a bit. And the relevant person, probably fat hair nerd, will wear that. Here comes Stephen Damas. Just slapping that log. <laughs> he just he was just taking the shortcut. That's it. He's just taking a nice shortcut to the outcome that he knew was was going to happen to him. <laughs> Absolutely love it though. But F I I have a feeling that Evan Damas did that a hundred percent on purpose. After all, it was just duct taping a pile of wood, a log of wood, to a stump. Somehow, I don't know what happened, that scalpel just went across the throat. <laughs> That's so strange when that happens. Damn. Oh, what a terrible, terrible accident. Ooh, nice. We got 51 package survival meals. All this ambrosia. We still got plenty of food to go around. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, it's not going to be the, ex the exodus. is going to be the next episode, it seems. There really is not much else to be done. So next episode, what I'll do will make everybody be a construction expert, <laughs> and we're going to uninstall all the things that I want to carry. It's that caravan making a giant colony-wide caravan is such a freaking pain in the ass. It's one of those things where if something happens, I don't even care about. Uh, reloading because it's so annoying for it to you know it always devolves in these idiotic mental breaks and all that stuff and it's like the game should have some kind of toggle that you're like I am making a colony abandoning caravan you know a very specific thing at the end of which you have to abandon the caravan and it prevents like it disables all psychology and it allows you to just get it done without 20 dumbass mental breaks and everybody going extremely hungry, just being just a complete shit show. <laughs> it's so upsetting. That being said, the last one that I did was very uneventful. Everything went really nicely on the first try, so hopefully that too will happen next time. But for sure, we need to like deconstruct all these really component-heavy stuff. We're going to be carrying all this junk. Uh, like You can't even... Um, 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 what's it called? Uninstall it. You can this up core encoder, but that's the exception. It looks like can't even uninstall the recharger. All that stuff just needs to be rebuilt. We're going to just um, what's it called? Uh, deconstruct all the mortars. Deconstruct you know anything that is not going to be taken with us in the backs of elephants but certainly we're going to wait until the next raid happens the next big event by the way uh what are the quests right now the arc nexus and there's just the stash out there the, a preprocessor stomach like it's nice don't get me wrong it's nice but do i want to go out there to destroy seven turrets and one outlander to get it done not really show me where it's at and i'll tell you whether i want to do it or not there's a steel mining site over there. Looks like that one. That's the item stash. I don't want to do it. Who isn't uh, so sad, though? The geezer, because he's uh, still a big-ass pansy and has a problem with us just chopping off the limbs of people. How silly. How absolutely silly. Anyway, Tubo is going to be our first great lucky guy that's going to get the royal treatment. Go straight into the sacrificial circle. Let us all take our knives and cut strips of his flesh until he is no more. <laughs> Hike, giving that wonderful speech. Oh, ye of little faith, we have given you plenty of chances for your flesh to be cleansed. Now we do it by force. Let you be cleansed in our bellies. Cut strips off his meat until he gets recycled. In many, many pellets of poop. Shed the unworthy has been complete. It was a spectacular shedding of the unworthy. The cuts that Hike did on that flesh was 
Mmm, primo material, the shed of the unworthy. It was a spectacular. The speech brought everyone to the edge of a frenzy, just as the blade came down perfectly, and the spurting blood was like cleansing waters of their spirit. Everyone participating in the ritual gains a plus eight mood for six days. That's pretty great. Thanks to satisfying Shed of the Unworthy, Tiros gain work frenzy. <laughs> this is amazing. And the psycho psy focus of all participants has been fully recharged. What an awesome, awesome ritual. Well done, Hike. I knew I could count on your religious zeal. <laughs> you will please me greatly. Already 40 minutes, man. RimWorld always oh, never fails. RimWorld never fails to make time just vanish. It's always a good time. Hopefully next episode we can get our move on. Especially with this nice mood boost. It's going to do great toward keeping everybody happy while we leave. So uh, I hope you're looking forward to the absolute shit show that's going to happen the next episode. Probably there will be a raid in the middle of it. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it.